Hey Heights Church, Pastor Bronson here, and I'm going to continue our thread, Risky Faith. Today's verse we're going to look at is Hebrews 11.32. So grab your Bibles real quick as we go over it. It says this, How much more do I need to say it? It would take too long to recount the stories of faith of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all of the prophets. I love how in the beginning it says, how much more do I need to say? It's almost rhetorical. It would take too long to recount all the stories. You guys ever been in a conversation with somebody and they're telling you about the history or the whole entire story? And at some point you just tune out because you're waiting for them just to get to the main part. This is what I'm often reminded of, that it would take too long to remind everybody of all of the stories of the faith of where God came and showed up. We're talking about risky faith. And honestly, when I look at things like this, I don't really think about how faith can be risky. But the truth is, in these times that we're looking at, when they talk about a person like Gideon, it was a huge risk, like a big risk. That's why we call it risky faith. I want to challenge everybody through this week, take some time and read through Judges 6 and 7. Get to know the story of Gideon. I know Pastor Craig has gone through it once or twice, the story of Gideon, but every single time I go in and I reread it about this story of faith, I find something new. I underline something really actually kind of big in my opinion. And it's simply this in Judges 6, 13 more specifically. And it says this, and where are all the miracles our ancestors told us about? This is before the end of the story. And I want to encourage you guys to get back in it. But they knew right here, right now, in that moment, that there were stories on stories on stories about how God showed up. And they are asking, where did they go? Gideon's story is incredible. It became risky, though, when he started not to understand how God was actually going to come through in his life. This is where the big risk happens. Gideon and his army was surrounded by other armies, we could just say. Surrounded. 300 plus people. And it says, in a moment's time when everybody blew their horns, that God made the opposing armies begin to fight each other. Not Gideon, because Gideon was outnumbered. It was a big risk Gideon was taking in these times. But God showed up in an incredible way because Gideon took a big risk. Guys, I wonder if we have these stories right here, right now, because in our situation, we feel like we're surrounded by the enemy. And we don't understand how God is going to pull us through this time. But in the end, God will always pull you through. It feels risky. It is risky. It might not make sense to everybody. But the truth is, is God will forever be faithful to you. He's going to get you through this time. Taking these big risks in faith will have big payouts. We can look back at all these stories. Because when we do, we'll realize there's a lot of them to tell. And I know you are in the middle of one. And I can't wait to hear about these stories of faith that you are experiencing. So believe it. Know that God is with you and he's going to pull you through this time. But take the risks of having huge faith. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you next time.